it straight, okay? Pat Rummerfield spends a week every month with patients in the International Center for Spinal Cord Injury at Maryland's Kennedy Krieger Institute. He works as a spokesman and raises money for the Institute. He also provides moral support. Being able to touch the lives of, of others, knowing what they're going through. I myself have been in those same uh, situations and have, I've had the same thoughts run through my, my brain that, you know, that's going through theirs. In 1974, Rummerfield broke his neck in four places in a traffic accident. Doctors thought he would be dead within 72 hours. They did not know about his fighting spirit. A week later, there was another meeting uh, with my father, and they said that I'd beaten the billion to one odds, that they were pretty positive that, that I was going to live, but the prognosis was still grim. He spent one year in a physical rehabilitation center. Then, he and his father decided to direct his recovery on their own. It was very intense. Five hours a day, uh, whatever moved, I'd lift a weight with it. You know, very slowly, very, very slowly, things started coming back. Uh, it, it took about three and a half years, but I could drag my right side for about 100 feet. And then I'd have to sit down and rest or take a nap. After 17 years of work, Rummerfield is considered a fully functional quadriplegic. Many people call him a walking miracle. Then he decided to set some records. When I got to that point to where I could run, I immediately started doing uh, small little races as ways of, of raising money, of raising funds for spinal cord research. And I've never stopped. He did more than just run. He completed a triathlon sporting event, drives race cars, and holds the land speed record for electric cars. Doctors have trouble explaining Rummerfield's recovery. But Dr. John McDonald notes his mental strength. He's got the determination of a warrior. He's, he fights through pain, he'll fight through any, he'll will never give the National Spinal Cord Injury Association says less than 1% of patients with spinal cord injuries fully recover. Ann Cho is a medical researcher. By studying his case, both you know, structurally in the brain and spinal cord, functionally, we hope to see what made him, what made it possible for him to recover. Um, and those findings hopefully we can and will be able to eventually apply to other patients. Rummerfield works with patients like Erin. Her spinal cord was damaged when she and her conjoined twin were separated. Melissa Buckles is her mother. It, it means a lot to us that Patrick has taken such an interest in Erin um, and it tells us that he has the belief that she's going to walk someday too. We look at Pat as a miracle, but also something that is attainable. Good, Aaron. Good job. At the end of the day, I really don't think, you know, myself as a hero or, or a celebrity or anything like that. I just think that I'm just a guy trying to help as many people along the way as I can. My goal is to someday be a part of helping everyone get out of a wheelchair. The road to recovery can be long and nothing is guaranteed. But patients at Kennedy Krieger know Pat Rummerfield will be cheering for them every step of the way. I'm Mario Ritter.